some of it. If you can volunteer, if some of you do research, I'm sure that's the problem. We need more people doing research and finding places. I mean, Steve found this one, or he, he knew it and volunteered. So we need people to give information to Jim, Monty, or somebody <coughs> about potential places so we can get some settled. If I may, Pastor Coleman, Steve, how soon could we get a, uh, a go ahead for our next meeting here? Have we're we're good to go for our next what? meeting then? You guys can have it anytime you want. Friday, there's no one using this thing for Friday nights. So, Bang. That's okay. Done. Done. Okay. Boom. Done. <laughs> Woo! Move on. Move on. Next subject. Let's quit beating the dead horse. I'll entertain a motion that we have our meeting here next week. Or Yay. Next Yay. Yay. All right. Who makes most art? I make a motion to meet here next week. Okay. Next meeting. All right. Second. Okay. Second. 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 Oh. Okay. Good. 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 I have a bottle in the drum. Okay. One abstention. A little one. Two abstentions. No, 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 no. Oh. You want to say what? something. What? Soul. Oh. <laughs> no. Finish the. Finish that. Yeah. It's it's done. done. Motion carried. Okay. Motion carried. Next meeting right here, 6:30. What's the date? Somebody know? Two weeks. Two, two weeks. weeks. Two, two weeks. From, two weeks from tonight. Seventh of October. It's actually seventh of October. That's the first. Seventh of October. Seventh of October. Seventh of yes. October. Yeah. Okay. All right, so just just for a, a sake of question, that uh, okay, the next meeting is here. That's fine. But in 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 lieu of potential, I would like to have a straw poll or or just a raise of hands. Who would pay twelve ninety five to go to a hotel? It wouldn't be in an auditorium with audio and video like this or anything like that. But it would be very nice. The meal would be acceptable, better than Denny's. So who who would pay twelve ninety five for a meal? No problem. Yeah. Is it twenty? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I got fifteen in here. All right. And there's a bunch of people that are yeah, right. Okay, so we'll just leave that leave that open for the mind. Okay? Whoever the committee is? Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm going to follow suit, just, just follow up on that. How many don't care of how nice the facilities are? You just want a place to meet that's easy and affordable, easy to get to? Like that, too. And Who wouldn't like that? Oh, good. Okay. So we need to keep, keep priority priorities. Whatever we can get, just get. I mean, well, me, I, I like here to, I'll go anywhere. Say, I'll, do, I'll even come without a gun, so I do not like it. I protest it vehemently, but <laughs> well, just, yeah. you know what we've been given here is like a five hundred dollar gift. Yeah. But there's some things more important to get done. Can we move on? You know, guys, this room's nice. I mean, look at the chairs we're sitting in. Look at the awesome. overhead. Look I mean, at the sound. Gorgeous. This is great. Yeah, yeah we're going to be here. We're going to be here. We're, 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 we're just taking a straw over. We're getting silly. We'll have to go outside. Okay, let's see if we can One more. Okay. My question is this. Two more. That's it. Two more. Two more. Two more. Two more. My question is this. As far as meetings, I don't care about restaurants or eating. I'm concerned of having a location where I can go. I have been unemployed. Okay. But I am interested in the Republic. So I'm here for the meetings. I'm not here to be able to go eat or drink because I know there's there's been comments where they want a bar or whatever and that's fine but there's people like myself that are unemployed but we are involved in this and I'm interested in a place where I can meet not where I can eat as long as there's a place so we can conduct our business like here right <laughs> 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 I just want to bring out that uh, if this facility was a permanent facility uh, and the body grew in different parts of the county, if. Uh, video conferencing is a function that is 
today's technology, and it can be used very widely with small groups in different places, and uh, the screen is here. So yes. if you want to think about that, it's just a thought. Yes. Right, we can have multiple meetings at the same time and be able to keep yes. conferencing. Yes. 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 Just to add to that. Yes. Hey, out of fairness, I said, uh, I included Nate, so Nate. Well, well, let me clarify what he said, because we've talked about this many times. Okay. Right. Uh, he wasn't here. Oh, quick. It's totally doable, but we have to decide. Yeah. OK, Nate. Have we asked him. That's where we need to get to. Not because I found the, the hotel location, but um, there are more hotels in that area that could be looked at too. But the reason the hotel there was good because we could move into the ballroom if we had to. Here, there's no room to expand over 100 people. So that was one of the main things that Monty and I said that was, that was good, that so we could move into a bigger spot over there. Because we were just in the mesquite room and we could have gone into the ballroom when we get the bomb drops and we we get expanded. And I'll put out one idea and then we'll move on. If we if people donate enough, we could actually possibly vote to have the have that as part of it, at least to cover it as an expense. And that way folks that can't afford it can still come without any without having to pay. Which is true anyway, but um, but we can help out. Okay. Next on the agenda is new business. So nothing was sent in. So anything pressing? Anybody want to bring up? Sure. Okay. Yes. I'll just state that Hal uh, Epperson, our governor, wants to meet with um, Jared Shorampio, which goes along the lines of what we were talking about a little bit earlier. Yes. And uh, we're trying to get, he's wanting to get to the point to where we, the Republic, you need the mic. Do I? All right. Yes. All right, I'll repeat it. Uh, Hal Epperson is, uh, our governor is trying to get to Joe Arpaio. That's on his agenda. Uh, to discuss sort of a remedy, if you will, about who we are and what our um, uh, private situations are as a secure party creditor. And I know that this is cross-convoluting a little bit between those of you that don't know. There's Republic, there's secure party creditor, there's A for being, there's all kinds of remedies um, and, and ways to go about how to handle who we are. But he's trying to get and wants to get to Joe Arpaio and sit down with the committee or a few people or a meeting or something. It's just all up in the air right now. But that is on his agenda, so I thought I would mention it. Thank you, Thank you very good. Yeah, he told me about that today. Yes, sir, Tom. You're going to lose some weight tonight. Yeah, no, it'll work out. Right? Anybody else has another question after they should move this side? Okay, right. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to um, make a kind of announcement, though, that there's, there's going to be an auction this week. Um, Auctions are next, by the way. Or, I'm sorry. Announcements are next. Oh. We're Business. Okay, um, should I wait or yeah, do it? Okay. But go gonna, ahead. There's going to be an auction this week for a land auction, and they're going to be selling uh, eight, 18 um, one acre lots. I bought a lot in the last auction for $350 for one acre lot. Yep, it's north of uh, um, Sholo. Okay. And um, my, my, my point of bringing this up is the reason I bought this lot is $350 is not a lot of money. Um, and it's a good opportunity for those who want to experiment with things like, you know, land patents. You go get a land patent and bring it forward. And, you know, we, we want to basically start our own nation, right? Well, how do you have a nation without land? We need land to be able to, you know, otherwise we're not really a nation until we own, be able to own land. We're land, we become landowners again. I just want to clarify, we're not starting a nation. We're re-inhabiting. Re-inhabiting, right, one. right. And, but well, we've lost our land essentially, and we need yeah. to re-inhabit our land as well. And so, you know, most people are kind of tangled up in foreclosures, and you know, and, you know that gone down that path. And and this is a you know an opportunity where we can kind of go back to the original beginning. <coughs> you can buy land and pay cash for it, and they'll send you the deed in the mail, and it's not recorded with the county or anything. And so what you do with that piece of paper that's you know, transferred from the previous owner to you is, you know, what, you know your decision, what you, you know. What, but, you know, the point is that they, and the county has no 
record that you own this property at this point and you're not under contract. And so from that point forward is, you know, you f follow the process um, to d develop your land patent and establish yourself as a, you know, a landowner. But anyway, so the, there's a, they're going to be auctioning, they have these on, auctions ongoing, um, but this week they're going to be auctioning off 18 one-acre lots and they're in three, uh, three group bundles. So if, you know, there's enough people we get together, we buy a bundle, you know, of seven lots. They're, they're north of, uh, um, they're, they're north of uh, Sholo. They're close to, actually in Concho Valley. Okay. Concho Valley. Yeah, Concho Valley. so, um, and they're all one-acre lots. They're close to the highway um, on, you know, well, you know, graded roads and everything. So anyway, if there's anyone interested, just talk to me afterwards and, you know, we can uh, talk which, about Which highway they close to? Um, is it 87? Is that the 87? Yeah. I don't remember the highway. I think it's 60, but there's yeah. a Y that goes, one goes to, uh, goes to you, you take the left. 277. Yeah. 277? Okay, 277, yeah. Okay. yeah. Anyway, okay. if anyone's interested, you can talk to me afterwards and you know, we can discuss it more. Okay, all right. You got it? Very good. Okay. I have an announcement. Okay. Um, Robert McCoy and I are putting together um, to present to, to the assembly um, a emergency plan for the Republic, uh, a coordination, a system that we'd use. Um, and uh, what, what, what right now the infrastructure, what it uh, comprises of is safety associations. They'll be located in different parts of Maricopa County or Arizona. And for example, maybe the people that live in the East Valley they would have a safety association and there's going to be several things that they would be able to do and organize at that level there and they'll have a place to go if something happens. Some, um, if something unfortunately happens, they have a plan. Um, Robert McCoy is very, very well versed in Arizona and all these different locations that have resources if that's needed, but at least you have that plan. Um, so Robert and I are putting that together and a system and how to notify each other, how to work with each other, and that's uh, going to be in front of the assembly uh, maybe next time or the time after. Okay, very good. Okay, very good. Yeah, he knows, that guy knows a lot of very interesting stuff. Any other announcements? Okay, uh, I want to take a moment just to tell you, and I appreciate all the interest that people expressed, and those that said, sorry, I can't come, I have to work, but I hope you do well. I just want to just generally announce what happened today in court. Is, uh, uh, on my wife's behalf. As you know, last week I didn't want to go. But uh, I don't want to put her in a predicament that she can't handle it, that I wouldn't mind handling. So I went there to represent her, but based on the information they had there on how to proceed, we both agreed we're not going to contract in this court. They're requiring us to enter a plea. So let me just tell you what I have. Not everybody knows what you're talking about. Oh, okay. My wife got it. Okay, Coleman. yeah, I should give history of that. Pastor Coleman? Yes. Just a point of order. Um, this lady has a question that didn't get answered because it wasn't a point of business. And what you're sharing is educational. Um, okay. I would just suggest that we that, close this is the a good meeting, time to do that. And then we have a platform that lets us address her sorts of issues and share what you know and share what Lisa knows and other people. If that's right. I mean, well, I have, have, yeah, you're right. What I'm doing now is kind of personal. I've been, uh, people have asked me if I would do it. But it doesn't have to be during now, so I can do it during education, I'll do that. So there's an announcement we'll later here. Okay. I do have one announcement, but I'll I guess save it for last. You have an announcement? <coughs> oh, um, does everybody know uh, that there's going to be a picnic Sunday for the three counties of Coconino, Maricopa, and uh Yavapai in Prescott? Everybody know that there's going to be a picnic Sunday, this coming Sunday? In Prescott, and I've forgotten where it's going to be in <laughs> Prescott. <laughs> but I thought that everybody had received that Old via Boy email. The email came up. Yeah. Yes, it's been a while, so probably I could get sent out again. It would be helpful, but you know, uh, um, out of town. Yeah. We'll take it's care of it. Oh, today. Stony, Stony, take care. Okay. Care. I just want to bring that. Okay, check your email for, for details. Yeah, I have a question over here. Uh, about announcements we're doing. For announcements. Yeah. <coughs> Who had an announcement? Anybody else? Okay. Cody. 